Good day. How to download and install VOD on your cell phone. The first thing that needs to happen is you would have received an invitation email from Elation. This email will come through onto your Outlook or your inbox or Gmail, whatever email address you are using. In my case, I'm using Microsoft. So what I will do, I need to go to my Microsoft Outlook. The email normally lands in the other mailbox, sometimes even in junk mail. I can see there it says, Elation, welcome to demo. We are working in our demo environment and there you can see the invitation is there from Elation, welcome to demo. Demo would normally be replaced by your company name. What I will do, I will click on the email to open it. Once I've opened it, I will scroll down until I get to the point where it says enter. I will click on the enter button. It will now take me through to a tile where I can install and log in. The first step is I'm going to install. I will come back later to this page after the installation to log in. So I'll click on the install button. Automatically it takes me to Cloud Phone 11 UC which is the application that we are using. Click on the install button to start installing and downloading. Wait for the download to be completed. Once it's completed, click on the open button. It brings you to a page where it asks you for your username, password and account domain. This could be used later, but because you do not have your username and password, it's all embedded in your invitation, it will bring you to this page where it's asking you for your username, your password, account domain and login. This page could be used at later stage, but currently, because you do not have your password, it's all embedded in the invitation. Please click on the button below to open up all the different windows on your cell phone. Scroll down sideways until you get to back to this page. Now please click on Log In. It will try to log in or go through a process. It's going to ask you a couple of permissions. Microphone permission, please select Next. It's asking you if you want to record your audio. Please select while using this app. Then the next permission is asking is phone permission. Click on next. Allow Cloud11 to make and manage phone calls. If you don't allow on this, the application will not work, so please tell allow. Then it comes up with context permission. This will automatically bring all your contacts that you've got on your cell phone programmed into the VOD application and it's available to you to use. Click on Next. It's asking you, do you want to access your contacts? If you don't want to, the contacts will not be available in VOD. But if you say Allow, it will be part of your VOD contacts. When an incoming call is presented to you, that you get a full screen to answer the call. Best practice is to say Yes for this. Click on the Next button. Because you're allowed for full screen, the application is taking you through to a couple more settings. So click on settings. It will automatically take you through to the settings of your cell phone and scroll down until you get to Cloud Phone 11 UC. Currently the radio button is off if you want to activate it. Click on the radio button and it is activated. Now you can go back to that page Click on the login button again. After you've logged in, click on the button below that opens up all windows. Scroll up until you find the Cloud 11 icon. Click on the Cloud 11 icon and it will automatically open up 
the application. This is your landing page and from here you can make and receive phone calls. Overview of the landing page. By default the landing page is your keypad. I can use the keypad to dial in the number that I want to dial. If I make a mistake I can go back page and re-enter the numbers. Once I'm happy with the telephone number that I want to dial I click on the blue phone to actually make the phone call. End the call, click the red end call button and the call is made. On the contacts icon if I click on that, I have two choices. I can either be at the business, which tells me everybody that I'm connected to within the company. If I click on it again, I can go to my address book, which brings up all my private contacts. I'm going to stay to the business. Then I have the star, which is my favorites button. If I click on the star, it's empty. If I click on the plus button, I can add a person that I want, say Betsy, the telephone number is 0555-7676, and I say done. If I now go back, Betsy is programmed. And so I can continue by adding somebody else. This could be Ben telephone number 076 whatever the number might be I can click done or on the correct, correct arrow and Ben is added so from the favorites I can then just select that person and it will also try to make the phone call using my favorites if I want to add or delete any of my favorites I go to the three dots which is my settings button I click on edit mode it opens up the two favorites that I've added I click on the name that I want to edit for example Betsy and if I want to delete it I click on the little dustbin click delete and it's deleted if I want to edit Ben I click on his name I can edit and make it Ben Swart for example and click on the correct mark the name is changed if I want to delete that one as well I can go to edit go to Ben and delete him as well to confirm clear entry delete and my favorites are empty again to make a phone call I dial the number Hit on the dial button, wait for the person to answer. To answer an incoming call, click on the video or no video green phone. I can dial somebody internally by clicking on the number, so I click on the icon and it's dialing an internal. To finish the call, I click on the end call button and I've made an internal call. Once I've answered the call, you have six call control buttons available to you. The little keypad is used when prompted by an IVR to key an extension number or press one for sales, two for support or to make any kind of selection. You will open up the keypad and for example press two for sales. Once the call is going through, I can click on the Dismiss button and it will take me back to my main call control page. Then I have the Hold button. While the person is on hold, he listens to music. And to retrieve the person, I just select that same button and I'm back from hold. The Recording button is just indicating that the call is being recorded. <laughs> When connected to an incoming call and I want to transfer the call to one of my colleagues internally, 
the first transfer method I have is a blind transfer so I click on my transfer button I'm currently at the business so I can transfer to anybody within the company I select to transfer the number to Andile it's dialing Andile and I can complete the transfer by dialing end call connected to a call and now I want to do an attended transfer I click on the attended transfer button I'm going to transfer the call to Barry so I'll click on the little icon next to his name once Barry has answered the call I can announce the call and to complete the transfer I click on the transfer button and the call is transferred once established in the call, I can also go into a three-way conference. So I can click on the Add Call button. I can either dial the number or I could have added a contact. Contact could be, again, within my company or an external number. Again, I'm going to bring Barry into the conference. Click on the dial telephone to dial him. I could either switch between the two callers, go from the first caller I made or received. If I click the join button, all three of us are talking to each other. I can then end the call. Thank you for calling. If I end the call, all three of us are out of the conversation. When you come back and you've got a red dot with a number inside, it indicates to you that you've missed a call. Currently, we missed one call. If I go to the history, it can see that the calls I've answered, answered. And here are two calls. So if I click on the I for information, it's actually going to tell me the history of this call. If I now go back, I have the red button anymore. I've attended to the calls that I've missed.